Hey guys, Rusty over here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to lasso Halo 3 ODST, the first mission, the street mission for Tiari Plaza. Now, I want to talk about the Iron Skull first. If you die while you're doing this on co-op, it just brings you back to the last checkpoint. However, if you die on solo, it'll restart the mission for you. But there's a workaround for this. All you have to do if you die, immediately pause the game, save and quit, and then you just have to resume, and that'll bring you to the last checkpoint. So it pretty much makes it if you're doing the Iron Skull, as if you're doing it in uh, co-op. So, I also want to talk about blind, which pretty much gets rid of your heads-up display, your HUD, meaning no reticle, you can't see which grenades, you can't see what guns you're using. Now, to get around this, you can put a piece of tape on your screen where your reticle would be, but that's a bitch move, so if you want to be a bitch, go ahead and do that. Um, to tell which gun you have, you have to either A, memorize the sounds, you could look at your shadow, or just fire a shot at your gun. Not a big deal. By the way, as soon as you hop out, go ahead and grab a health pack, you want to head down these streets. Now, catch is also on. Now, enemies, specifically grunts, are going to fucking whip grenades at your ass. By the way, you can see me looking at a shadow there. So, try and stay away from them. Uh, black guys also on, make it so melees, to get your stamina back, you need the melee enemy. Do not shoot these enemies here. You're going to want to wait and head up this ramp to the left. Now, what else am I missing? What else is an important one? Tough luck is on, so enemies are also going to dodge your grenades and your plasma pistol shots. By the way, you're going to be using a lot of fucking plasma pistol. And honestly, guys, those are the most relevant skulls. So go ahead. You're going to want to wait for these um, enemies to patrol to the left here. The reason for that is if you engage them too early, you're going to end up fighting both packs and you're just going to have a bad time. So your priority is almost always going to be the grunts, unless it's a carbine brute, which you always want to take care of first because they're fucking assholes. Go ahead, pick the grunts off. Now, for some reason, this patrol is weird. They'll just keep running by sometimes and then completely ignore us, which is good for you. They do that, go ahead, pick up a plasma pistol, and if it's just a brute alone, you can go ahead pretty much safely down there and pick up a plasma pistol. He shouldn't shoot at you, and if he does, you can dodge his shots, unless, again, he's a carbine guy. Now, if they patrol here, go ahead, finish off any grunts, go ahead, overcharge your plasma pistol, hit the brute, and pistol him down. Now, whenever you overcharge plasma pistol brute, uh, go ahead and pick another health pack, by the way, if you're low. Uh, though, about 90% of the times, they'll almost always berserk, which is good for you, because they won't shoot at you, they'll just charge you, and makes it a pretty easy headshot. Once you clear that pack, go ahead back to the middle, and on the right, you're gonna have the last pack. And now, this, this motherfucking grunt, look at him, look at him, he's going wild, he's going left, right, left, right, pick a fucking side. Anyways, kill them off hit the brute, and you're done with that pack. Now, I do want to mention, again, it's up to you. Use this at your own discretion. Again, you almost always want to be focusing the grunts down first. And the reason for that, again, is just they'll just fucking whip grenades at your ass because of the catch soul. The brutes will throw a decent amount of grenades too, but not as much as the grunts. Go ahead and take care of them, but if it's something like this where I see the brute first, again, especially if it's a carbine guy, Take care of him first. Carbine guys can shoot you from really far away, and they do a shit ton of damage, and it'll pretty much just fucking ruin your day. And other than that, you're gonna have... Now, you wanna try and clear this pack on the left or the right first. It uh, doesn't matter which one's in the lead. Go ahead and try and clear that as quick as possible, because there are two packs here. So if you're too slow at clearing one pack, you might end up fighting two packs at once, which is pretty... Honestly, it's pretty doable. It's not that hard. But why would you wanna make it harder on yourself? Try and clear it as quick as possible. And go ahead finish everything off and honestly at this point you're pretty much done with this whole area now this brute again these brutes can be fucking assholes and move their heads around when they're charging don't be afraid to use too much plaza uh regular pistol ammo in here you're not in this mission for too long once everything is clear one of these phones are going to light up this one on the left lit up it could also be sometimes be on the right so just look around for one that's lit up go ahead and answer the phone your buddy's calling you now normally what this would do this will actually by the way you can follow the path i'm taking uh so in order to get around the city now, normally what this would do, this would start the tutorial for you, but on Legendary, I think it automatically skips it. If it doesn't, then just basically spam B and it should skip it for you. Um, before you move on, you're going to want to go to this health station here on the right and just make sure you top yourself off. Wow, you know I play well when I say top yourself off. Go ahead, make sure you're full health, and then you're going to keep heading through these doors on the right. Now, normally, I think, I'm not sure how this works, I think it has to do with the audio logs. That ammo cache there to the left... It might always be locked, but if you have the audio logs, I think it'll be open. I did, though, and it wasn't open for me, so I'm not sure, actually, now that I think about it. Anyways, ignore that. Head through this building, and you're going you're gonna to go into what I call the Grunt Garden. Now, don't try and do what I did here. Don't try and skip them. One or two things are going to happen here. A, you're either going to get stuck like I did here. By the way, you can see me saving and quitting, avoiding iron. Or you're just going to get fucking shot to death. <clears throat> you can't skip that shit. Well, maybe, but it's a fucking pain in the ass. Go ahead, what you want to do, hit the first Grunt. And the best piece of advice I could give you here to dodge all these grenades is just keep moving left and right. Never stop moving. If at any point you stop moving, there's a pretty high chance you're going to get stuck. By the way, look at that fucking grunt sticking his friend. Dude, these grunts, negative 200 IQ. Now, make sure you look around in the grass here because you can see here in a second. Look at that one on the right. He's fucking hiding from me. Dude, he's playing a fucking rogue, dude. 
Look around the, gra the, the grass. Those grunts can hide in there. Make sure they're all clear. Make sure it's safe. And honestly, at this point, guys, you're pretty much done with the mission. You want to go ahead through this door. And again, go, go ahead through this door. Make a left. And again, you're done with the mission. All you're doing is going upstairs. There is one extra part you'll see that I actually have managed to die to once in the past, which I'll show you in a second. There's going to be a door on your right coming up here that have two jackal snipers in it. When it happens, all you're going to want to do, you're basically just throw a grenade. That'll distract them long enough. Sometimes they can run out and shoot you. It's rare, though. Just throw a grenade and you'll be fine. They'll try and dodge it and that'll buy you enough time to get to the top. Go ahead. You're at the top. You're going to have the helmet on the left here. It's there's helmet. Recon helmet. Click it. And you're done with the mission, guys. The first mission is a complete fucking joke. I'm going to be honest with you about pretty much every mission except the last two are a fucking joke in Halo 3 or DC. But I hope this guide helped you. If it did, please leave a comment below. Throw a like on this video and subscribe. Thank you.